hope you will be fine this is engineer facilitators in this video we will talk about chromium preparation method in technical term chromium production means chromium metallurgy in which we extract pure chromium metal from its raw material extraction of chromium metal from chromite ore the first of all we will separate chromite ore from other impurities so the first step is concentration uh, the concentration means separation of chromite by gravity separators so uh, this is a method to separate chromite uh, also other different methods are used to separate ores of different metals but the most effective machinery in metallurgical process is gravity separations so you can see in this diagram how to separate uh, this chromite from its other impurities so uh, these uh, are other diagrams which can can clear your concept and you can see that uh, how uh, we separate chromite from uh, other impurities so uh, here you can see it is a separated chromite in a concentrated form or uh, in this uh, final diagram you can see uh, from raw material how we uh, separate uh, this chromite after jigging jigging mean uh, with the help of a uh, water uh, it's also like a screen vibrating process uh, in which we use water uh, to separate other impurities so uh, different methods are used for uh, uh, this separation process the first one is leaching method leaching method is also used in uh, metallurgical process so the second one is gravity separation or hydraulic washing uh the third one is froth flotation method and the fourth one is electromagnetic separation so these all methods are used for separation of ore and uh, not all methods are suitable for a single uh, metal uh, processing so uh, different uh, methods are used for uh, different metals or separations second step is conversion of concentrated chromite ore into sodium chromate so uh, for this process two uh, ingredients are mixed in concentrated chromite uh, the first one is na2co3 sodium carbonate and the second one is lime and after that uh, mixture is roasted in a furnace at uh, 900 to 1000 centigrade temperature in the presence of air and uh, that air provide oxygen for this reaction so uh, during this reaction we obtain soluble sodium chromate here you can see the reaction which take place in the furnace so i Uh, explain this reaction for your better understanding so uh, for FeCr2O4 here FeCr2O4 is chromite ore and for balancing here four is uh, provided so uh, the next one is Na2CO3 uh, which is uh, sodium carbonate and the seven o2 uh, we will get that oxygen from air so uh, if uh, you uh, observe here uh, here na2 na2 have a positive sign na2 plus uh, if in ionic form uh, na is in positive form so cr2o4 in negative uh, form so these both will uh, exchange with each other so after arrow uh, here you can see na2cro4 uh, is it, its mean na2 positive and second part cr2o4 negative these both will combine with each other and we will got sodium chromate so after that uh, here is fe and a lot of oxygen is provided through air so it will 
uh, go into an uh, oxide uh, form so fe2o3 and uh, the co3 uh, will reduce oxygen and will convert into co2 in next reaction conversion of na2cro4 into na2cr2o7 so how we will solve this equation uh, first of all you concentrate on h2so4 uh, these are uh, two uh, components h2 and so4 so uh, we will add something uh, from the first compound in these both and uh, after that uh, we will get easily two products uh, which are na2so4 and h2o so in h2 we will just add oxygen from the first compound and we will uh, got h2o and uh, after that uh, here are two uh, na2 uh, compounds so uh, we will uh, go one of them for so4 combination so uh, we will get na2 uh, and uh, it will combine with so4 to get Na2SO4 and the remaining will be Na2Cr2O7 which is our main product. Next reaction is conversion of Na2Cr2O7 into Cr2O3. Its mean uh, we will uh, extract Cr2O3 from Na2Cr2O7. So how it will uh, take place? We will uh, first of all react Na2Cr2O7 with carbon and here you can see uh, the oxygen uh, will uh, come at front of C its mean uh, we will get uh, carbon monoxide and it's also mean uh, that uh, three oxygens will reduce from Na2Cr2O7 and we will get Na2Cr2O4 and again in next uh, reaction Na2Cr2O4 will be treated with H2O and uh, finally uh, we will also reduce uh, oxygen uh, from Na2Cr2O4 uh, and uh, Na2 will also separate uh, with uh, H2O uh, and we will go to NaOH and Cr2O4 uh, will reduce into Cr2O3 and uh, we will got Cr2O3. Finally, we will reduce Cr2O3 into chromium metal. So for this alumino a thermic process will be used the following apparatus and ingredients will be used in this process the first one is bo2 plus mg powder the second one is fire clay crucible the next one is magnesium ribbon and the fourth one is sand and uh, finally cr2o3 will be mixed in aluminium so a uh, chromic oxide which is cr2o3 uh, will be mixed with aluminium powder with the ratio of 3 to 1 and is placed in a large fire clay crucible in this diagram you can see all the apparatus and ingredients and uh, here you uh, focus on the reaction uh, where we will reduce CR2O3 uh, into pure chromium metal so uh, oxygen which is present in CR2O3 will uh, attach to aluminium and we will get aluminium oxide and uh, after that the second uh, product will be our main product which is uh, pure chromium metal the theory of above diagram uh, is present in these points the first one is a mixture of barium peroxide and mg powder placed over this its mean in this diagram uh, you can see here bao2 plus mg powder so the next one is the crucible is surrounded by sand and you can see uh, in uh, this vessel the sand is present in the dotted lines so the next one is uh, the mixture is ignited by a piece of mg ribbon uh, it's a ignition source and the uh, final uh, point is the molten chromium is collected 
in the crucible and aluminium oxide is removed as a slag uh, here uh, in uh, reaction you can see aluminium oxide al2o3 will be present in the form of slag and uh, the cr uh, will be our pure uh, chromium product